That's a deep question. That's my second deep question of the day. No, I'm doing it's, all right. It's fantastic. I mean, I mean, the bottom line is whether you're talking about a Latino community or any other community in the world, love is the glue that holds family together. And I don't care what part of the world you're from. If you had the, the good fortune to come from a family, uh, it defines who you are. And it defines what you seek throughout the rest of your life. From my own personal experience, I come from a, a large Latino family. And love was everything. You know, the good news is in the, in the, in the work that I begin, I'm beginning to explore now, especially with my brother as a filmmaker, um, it explores those very simple themes that, that resonate truly with everyone, whether you're from a Latino community or not. These, these universal themes of love and uh, of wanting to belong to something greater than yourself. Working with your brother, what was that all like? It, it really is one of the most enjoyable professional experiences I think we've ever had, mainly because it's, it was family style. Mm -hmm. It was shot uh, on location in our hometown in San Francisco. My brother's in my hometown. Mission District. Mission District. And then the movie also has a very mission, double but entendre also, you know, there. We, we, we did what we thought was the, uh, the the right thing. We went to a lot of the community elders and, and said, look, uh, can we have your blessing? We're going to be shooting in and around the community. We'd like to employ some of the community members on our crew. And in fact, there are a couple of youngsters down here, first time ever actors, who end up getting principal roles in the film. And so uh, a lot of times we were shooting at night, and it was like a block party. So you're we were just talking about a neighborhood that, 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 that potentially dangerous. There's a lot of gang violence right. that happens down there. But, but we were down there, I think people really saw it as a celebration. And <laughs> my brother's true intent, was, you know, with, true intent, which was to write a love letter of a film to this particular community. Mm -hmm. You know, I would not be addressing the 600-pound gorilla if I didn't say, not only are you guys talented, but extremely beautiful people. <laughs> so do you, like, stare at each other and your beautiful baby and just think, like, we hit the lotto in the gene pool? Can I answer that? <laughs> <laughs> Someone who works with us says, Benjamin, I've seen you in the morning, and I've seen your wife in the morning, and all i got to say, dude, is you're one lucky mofo. <laughs> She, I not so much. I am so lucky. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm lost for words. Between the brother, between this beautiful couple, and I see your baby. I mean, you're well on your way. And is it easy or tough to work with your, your husband? It's so wonderful. He's such a talented actor. And then, besides that, he's just my best friend. And it's just so wonderful to work together. It's, it's, I would love to do it again and again. So you like never take five minutes and look at each other be like, you're hot. No, 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 you're hot. No, 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 no. you're hot. You know what? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I tell her that every day. Okay. And vice versa. <laughs> It'll be our secret. Uh, yeah, okay. our secret. <laughs> on CBS. Thanks, guys. I'm a family person myself, and I know you love your family, and you have a great big Latino family, as I've heard. I would like to know how it was working with your brother and your wife on a film together. It was rather ideal, I would say. The funny thing about working with my brother, he's my older brother, and you know now we're both into our mid-40s. The, the, the funny thing is that dynamic that existed when we were little kids, it hasn't really changed at all. I mean, I, I've, been, I've been acting for more than 20 years, and this is his second film. So, you know, I, I know my way around a set a little bit better than he might, but he's still my big brother. And so he knows the buttons to push, he knows where to, you know, what my weaknesses are, what my strengths are. And, um, I know I'm backed up by his love and his endless support. I don't know if, like, because he's backed up I'm brave, I'm brave. Independent filmmaking is it's a long, long, long process because not only you, know, you think you achieve victory when you, when you finish the script, which took about a year, but then it took about another four, four and a half years to raise the funding. And, but that still doesn't guarantee you distribution. And then you try to, you know, you go to the festival circuit trying to get the film picked up so we can get out and make it to the world. So you really have to be committed and love the material and really, you know, keep going from here because that's what keeps you going. You know? 23rd Street and enjoy New York International Latino Film Festival. You won't be disappointed. George, what's been over you over here? I guess you guys are in the middle of it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.